and what is up guys welcome back to another advancing of the t54 with firefly here this video i will be talking about the t43 fully maxed out with everything uh top gun top engine top turret and the top suspension so once you get the top the, the second turret which is what i advised you in the last video you will be able to mount your pre-researched 85 millimeter um by pre-researched that depends on if you already had it uh, on the t3485 same gun on the t3485 um has better rate of fire and accuracy but let's just leave it there for now once you do get the second turret you will be able to mount this gun and then after a couple amount of XP, you can also get the engine. Um, uh, you don't really need to get the engine. I, I, says, I advise you to get the suspension first because that will lower your uh, weight strain on the tank. And then you can get the top engine. The top engine isn't really that necessary. Um, it's not like something you need to get ASAP. Um, but mainly it's the fact that the... Uh, Mainly the fact that the engine, um, your second engine was already good enough, which you had on the T3485. So there really is not much to say except for the, um, let's just talk about some stuff. The the turret armor increased a lot. Um, turret armor front 90, side 90, rear 90 now. So now you can see this turret is very well armored um, all the way around. Um, you do have a very good gun mantlet there that will bounce a lot of shots and you got rid of, of a very big commander's cupola here before. You do have um another one but it's not as big as the one that you uh that you had before. Now so just hold on, I think I need to adjust my mic. Yeah, okay, it should be better. So the weight kinda increased, you went to thirty four point ninety eight tons. Your engine power is now at six hundred and basically everyone else everything else is the same. Your traverse speed did um increase by three degrees per second and your your gun how your gun um you probably already know the main statistics of the gun from the T thirty four eighty five. So that's basically it. Uh like I said, I already talked about the equipment, I only have the improved vents. For top gun if you want you can load um some APCR. I wanna see how what the uh APCR value is. Mm, so for AP, so for APCR you have not 194. That is actually quite good. It gives you like a, a, a penetration that's compared that's quite good for a tier eight tank, but you're a tier seven. So if you do have trouble penetrating, sometimes you can load APCR. But 144 millimeters should do you good for most tanks at tier seven. So that is it for the very short garage review. Now here are the three replays, and let's go. Now, first battle is on Himmelsdorf. Now, just a warning, if you're planning on playing the T43 this weekend, um, I advise you not, because these days, teams at Tier 7 are absolutely effing terrible. And in three of these replays, two of them are defeat, and I was so desperate, I was so desperate to use them, because if I didn't, and I kept trying to get good clips, I would never get good clips, and I would end up having my win rate go all the way down to 46. And my current win rate is at 60, so that is saying something. So, th this battle, so, there was only one good clip that I caught, that I was kind of able to use, and thankfully, I did some damage, and that was able to be included in these replays, but First off here, I'm just facing off this IS-6, and I took a hit from him, and, and also RNG is really trolling me this weekend. And But, except for this time when I was able to set the IS-6 on fire, and then I launched Adrenaline and bounced off him again, and just rushed his purging. Now, like I said, because I'm on my phone, I can't really control my tank, and I ran straight into the wall. And just got through this little gap, and I tried to dogfight this Pershing, and I'm not doing a very good job. I'm just trying to circle the Pershing while I'm, uh... I am actually doing quite some damage, and he bounced off me. Yep, yeah, that is the T-43. If any tank shoots you at a very good angle, you will, um, you will bounce. And then he, he got my track there, and I, I was able to get another shot off him. However, um, there's another shot... And I bounced off him again, and I would have died if my teammate wasn't able to kill him. But, um, 
Yeah, and then the Centurion and the E25 number one was there, and I decided to go around and help out with fighting this Cheery. Got one shot off him before my teammate finished him off. And there's another Centurion and an E25 there, and I charged them, and I tried to hide behind this track that was obviously flipped over during when Himmelsdorf was in battle. I'm not sure if Himmelsdorf was a real uh, was was a real city. M most. A lot of World Tanks maps were based off of real cities. It's E25 there, and I missed because Auto Aim completely conked out on me. The Centurion there, and T25 was going over to take care of the, e the E25, and I was able to get one shot off him. And then the Centurion just decided to go for the kill, and I missed, which was complete bullshit. I, I feel like they really should... Um, I feel like Blitz should really redo that that mechanic where whenever you're behind something your gun points straight into the air in my opinion that is total bs because that that ended up giving me getting me killed a lot of times and i'm pretty sure that got a lot of you guys killed a lot of times because your gun isn't aiming where it's where you're pointing at it's pointing in front of it's pointing way up into the air and the only way to counteract that is if i actually just go into sniper mode, but that's very inconvenient when you're trying to circle a tank around this building. Now, the second battle is on Lost Temple, and I'm just flanking around, and this battle was actually pretty sad for me, because I did do 4k damage, even though most of the damage was actually pretty shit. There's a KV-1 there that I missed, and I just kept moving forward, and then there was a Tiger-1 here, and I decided to aim slowly so I can get the early damage and kind of hold down. So that's what I did, I just moved up a little until my reload was up, and I just made one accurate shot into the side. Until, it kept going on for this, until the KV-1 decided to shoot me and set me on fire. This is when RNG really hates me though, and then I was just shooting the KV-1, and at this time I was, I was, this was like the most recent battle. And I was very pissed off because of the stupid ass teams, and I, and I basically just, Gave up, you know, I just stood there and just moved back and forth. And the KV-1 bounced off me. And I bounced off him, which was total BS. Because I shot him at a very good angle. But then I was able to finish him off. At that time, half of my half of my HP was gone. And there was a JP-4. And he bounced off me again. And I set him on fire. Then we shoot him again. And the Tiger-1 is not doing anything. So I just kind of side-scraped. Although he damaged me. And then I finished off that JP-4. And then the Tiger-1 decided to uh, decided to charge me. Luckily, this Tiger-1 was a, was a noob. As I could tell, he couldn't really play. And then that time, I, I, I just healed my, healed my driver. He bounced off me once, and I just tried to do a circle of death. And then this is when I realized that the Tiger actually had pretty good mobility. But luckily, this Tiger did not bother to aim. Now I'm not sure how you can how anyone can miss a shot like that, but I was able to finish him off this time when I was already in the three six situation and uh, I was pretty angry and I just like you know what screw this, but I I still try to fight to the end. Um, I'm trying to hide behind this rock and spotted a KV three and first shot that went straight into the thing. Now 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 this this is the part where it's just total bullshit, especially the the shooting reticles. Like like why the hell are you pointing into that that stupid little little thing? It's just time when it's just really makes me angry. There's an M6 here and an AT8. And I was able to finish off this M6. And then, and then I died. Like, like, what the hell? Why? Like, why are these people so stupid? And, and, now, and now I'm in a last battle would be on port. And this was like the only good game that I had. I just decided to go the usual medium tank route. Going around the flank. I spotted there. I was able to get some side shots on these people. 
And just kind of, and, and I just kind of hauled down here, picking a shot at the VK. Well, someone else was aiming at me, so I decided just to back off and did not just stand there trying to go for shots. Decided to start popping in and out. Because the T-43 does have actually pretty fragile side armor when, you're face when it's facing at a direct 90 degree angle towards the enemy. And is it SU-152? And Kanarvan there. I'm just kind of messing around here, and there's a Tiger 2 there. Now, the now Tiger 2 was using his stock turret, so I, I took an aim at his turret. Just saying the Tiger 2 stock turret is very fragile. Uh, any well-placed shot into the tur the front turret will penetrate. There's a Panther there. I peeped out and gave a shot at him. I got a shot into the turret of the Tiger. Which is funny because when the Tiger became, when the Tiger 2 became like a legendary tank, it had that stock turret. I forgot which model it was called, but. Got another shot of the Tiger and he bounced off me. I'm pretty sure that went into the turret. And got another shot off him. I just decided to go in for the kill. But the Tiger 2 actually knew how to. Um. Eh, how do I say that? Anti-circling medium, or whatever the hell it's supposed to be called. He was trying to go for me, he missed, and I was able to get another shot into his side. And the ISU started going for me, he took a big hit in the rear, I was able to get another shot off him. Some guy finished off the E8, and the Tiger 2 doesn't have enough gun depression. I bounced off the ISU, but my good friend IS-6 finished him off. Now this time, he was a one-shot from me, but I'm not a one-shot, so I just went in and went for the kill. And he, did, and, he, and he didn't even get a chance to shoot at me. But then there was a panther there. Just peeked in, in and out, and he got another shot off me, but then... IS-6 was going for him, and the panther was focused on the IS-6, so I peeked out again and finished off the panther. Carnarvon and the Black Prince try to help him by shooting into the side of the Carnarvon's turret. And Carnarvon obviously does not really have an idea that I am out here shooting at him, and then he's aiming at me. And he missed, so... And then, and then the KV-4 later on finished him off. And then the Black Prince is just there, and I was just going around the side. So this was actually a pretty successful game for me. Now, Black Prince just charged him, and I was able to finish off with one last shot. So, I guess that's it then. This is the last video I'm going to be doing for the T-43. And I hope you guys all enjoyed. And stay away from Tier 7 for this weekend because it is absolutely horrible. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. Till next time, guys. Firefly out.